Good after a whirlwind East Coast tour campaigning for the president, Governor Gavin Newsom back in California talking about extreme heat and fires. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. In tonight's Politics at Large, Steve is at McClellan Air Park, where the governor talked with reporters about this wildfire season and took questions about where his attention is focused. Well, this was the backdrop for Governor Newsom's press conference, this Cal Fire hangar showing an impressive array of firefighting airplanes and helicopters. This press conference comes as the governor has been spending a lot of time out of state during a very busy time in state. I had the opportunity to ask him about that. Governor, thank you for your time, Steve Large, CBS 13. As you've noted, a lot going on. In the last couple of weeks, we had the end of the legislative session. We had the uh, alternative Prop 47 reform bill that was being discussed. Uh, we have the wildfires. We have the Emergency Operations Center here opening up. We also have the debates between Biden and Trump that you went to. We have the campaigning on the East Coast for five days. So if you could just help us understand, what is the balance that you are trying to strike here between <laughs> well, you got campaigning anything. for the president and tending to state business? I think there may, I need some, I need a day off. Governor Gavin Newsom defended his double duty. It's been a grind and it's been a point of deep pride. Against criticism, the presidential race is dividing his attention from governing California. Could not be uh, more untrue. Everything about this campaign will impact this state disproportionately. We were involved in 122 lawsuits with the Trump administration. During this press conference showcasing state wildfire operations, the governor also referenced President Biden's support of California during this heat wave and wildfire response. Republican strategist Tab Berg has called out the governor's nationwide campaigning as self-promotion. I, mean, I think it's pretty transparent that he's just trying to position himself as the successor to Biden if he gets forced out. I want to thank President Biden uh, for his swiftness and support. It was nice to be at the White House to discuss this wildfire season. The governor was also asked about Hollywood star and prolific Biden fundraiser George Clooney's New York Times op-ed calling for the president to withdraw from the race and writing about Newsom as a possible replacement. Newsom said he had not read it. I don't have any comment as it relates to uh, George, who I've known for years and years, admire and respect. And the governor also said he's adding 2,400 new CAL FIRE positions to help with the smaller number of inmate firefighters available because of prison reform.